In today's video, we are going to talk about the introduction to differential equations. So let's start. Okay, ano ba yung differential equation? What is a DE? Ito, DE. A differential equation is actually a equation and it contains derivatives or differential. And at least one of these derivatives or differentials um, is either in the explicit or implicit form. Pero ano ba yung explicit form and ano ba yung implicit form? So let's take a look sa function na ito. Here. Now, this function is, pagbabasahin natin, it is y is equal to the square root of 25 minus x squared. We can say that this function is in explicit form. Kasi itong value ng y dito is clearly stated in the given function, in this function. Why? Kasi... For the corresponding values of x, malalaman natin ang value ng y. So, clearly stated siya na pag nag-input tayo dito ng value ng x, malalaman natin agad yung value ng y. So, yan yung ating explicit form. It is an equation involving x and y. Determines a value or values of y. So, de determine niya yung value ng y. Corresponding saan? Or ano yung magde-determine? Yung value ng x. So, we can write it like this one. y is a function of x. Or this one, sa y prime. That this one is our independent variable. And this one is our dependent variable. Si y ay nakadepende sa value ng x. Now, let us apply some algebra here. Applying some algebra. So, maaalis yung ating radical sign. So, we will have y squared is equal to 25 minus x squared. And then, rearranging it, we will have this one. Now, the value of y here is not clearly stated anymore. So, kapag ganyan ang form, it is in the implicit form. So, the value of y is not clearly stated. But, this function here is actually the same with this one. Magkaiba lang sila ng itsura pero ang isa ang ibig sabihin. Yun nga lang, itong nasa taas ay nasa explicit form. Itong nasa baba ay nasa implicit form. So, we can say that implicit form is this one. X and Y are connected by an equation or equations. Ito siya. Connected sila ng equation na to. Not solved for Y nga lang. So, we can say that F of X, Y is equal to 0. And dito rin, makikita natin na yung ating independent, dependent variable, and yung derivative ay naka-equate Sa zero. So, pag ganyan, we can say that the value of y is not clearly stated. Now, let us recall this one, our y prime. Our y prime can be written as dy over dx. So, isa lang ibig sabihin yan. y prime is equal to dy over dx or in this manner. Okay, ano ba ibig sabihin yan? This means that, well, binabasa natin yan, this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Ngayon, in general, si differential equation ay the derivative of a dependent variable, say y, so dependent variable, say y, with respect to an independent variable, say x. Ito yun. So here, the independent is x, the dependent is y. Kasi si x ang magde-determine ng value ni y. 
So kung anong value dito ni x, magbabari ang value ni y. Okay, next. Punta naman tayo dito. The characteristics of a differential equation. So meron tayo dyang tatlo. We have the order, the degree, and the type. Okay, so let's move on. So, ano ba ang order ng isang differential equation? The order is this. Order of the highest derivative in a given differential equation. Ibig sabihin, pag may nakita kang differential equation, ang una-una mong gagawin, hahanapin mo yung highest derivative. Ito, highest derivative. Ano ba yun? Nasa first order ba siya? Or nasa second derivative ba siya? First derivative, third derivative, fourth derivative? So kung ano yung pinakamataas in a given differential equation, yun yung iyong order. Next, pag nahanap mo na kung alin yung may highest derivative, alam mo na yung order niya, titignan mo ngayon yung kanyang algebraic degree. And that will be the degree of that differential equation. Ibig sabihin, the degree of differential equation is the algebraic degree of the highest order derivative. So, una, hanapin mo muna yung order, highest derivative. Pag nahanap mo na yon, tingnan mo yung kanyang algebraic degree. Next, there are basically two types of differential equation. Ito yung ODE at PDE. So, yung ODE natin, that is the ordinary differential equation. PDE natin is partial differential equation. So, paano ba natin malalaman kung alin yan? Yung ODE natin, meron lang siyang one independent variable. So, let us recall here. Para matandaan natin. Independent, dependent variable. So, X is independent, Y is dependent. So, it has only one independent variable. And, since it has only one independent variable, it is considered as ordinary differential equation. Ngayon, yung PDE naman, it contains two or more independent variables. Tandaan, two or more. And, it contains partial derivatives. So, in that manner, malalaman natin, Kung ang isang DE ay ODE or PDE. Let's take a look at some examples. So, we have uh, some examples here and let's try to solve. So, may sagot na dito and let's check kung tama ba yung sagot yan. So, for example number 1, we have X minus Y, Y prime is equal to 0. Remember, what is our Y prime? Y prime is equal to dy over dx. So, this is y. So, the same lang yan. Now, ano yung sabi natin kanina? Uh, ang ODE ay meron lamang isang independent variable. So, since ito, y prime, pag pinalitan natin yan ng dy over dx, we can easily say that it is an ODE kasi isa lang yung kanyang independent variable. So, it is indeed an ODE. Next, what is the order? It is in the first derivative. Ito. Y prime. Nasa first derivative. At wala nang iba dyan na derivative. So, ibig sabihin, it is in the first order. Yan na yung pinakamataas na derivative. Next, alam na natin kung alin yung ating highest derivative, kung alin dyan. Ngayon, ano yung degree niya? The degree is first degree. Okay, let's move on to example number 2. Let's take a look at this one. Is this an ODE or a PDE? Sabi dito, it is an ODE. Let's check. Tingnan natin yung independent variable. The independent variable here is x, and here it is also x, meaning there are no other independent variables. So, ibig sabihin, it is an ODE. Now, what is the order? Second order. Why? Let's take a look at these two. 
Ito, ang order nito ay first order kasi this is in the first derivative. Ito, ang order nito ay nasa second derivative. So, ibig sabihin ng order niyan, second order. Alin na mas mataas? Of course, this one. So, it is second order. Now, what is the degree? First degree. Let's check. This is our second order. Nandito yung second order natin. Ngayon, titingnan natin. Ano ba yung algebraic degree niyan? The algebraic degree is 1. Kasi this is just raised to 1. Okay, huwag kayong malilito. Dito ay may raised to 2. That is not the degree kasi hindi ito yung ating highest derivative. Ito yung highest derivative. Yan ang basihan ng ating degree. Next, example number 3. Is this a PDE or an ODE? Okay, let's take a look. PDE daw. Check natin. Pag titignan natin itong tatlo dito, we have three different independent variables. We have x, we have y, and then we have z. And also, these are not ordinary differential equations. They are partial. Tingnan natin, partial derivative of u with respect to the partial derivative of x. So, ibig sabihin, it is a PDE. Now, first order daw siya. Let's take a look. This is in the first order. First order derivative. And then first order derivative. So, meaning it is indeed a first order derivative. And it is in the first degree. Next, we are going to tackle the general solution of a differential equation. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you again. Bye-bye.